the Blue Mountain pack with a yellow Victor. And they want a few pencils and pens. Oh well. But so here's a couple of firsts. One, Playwell Kevin. Uh, yellow Victor. That's not rusty. Uh, blue flatbed. I guess to kind of go with the Blue Mountain mystery thing. And the narrow gauge breakdown gray. The new one was just released a few days ago. October the 17th in Japan, be precise. And it comes with the first ever rendition of Pre Sodor Victor, and he's not sea soaked. It also includes the first uh, release of the Playreel Kevin, one of their stock standard flatbeds, and a stock standard breakdown crane. Jumping into this, we have Itty Bitty Little Kevin. If you don't believe me with how itty bitty he is, this is one of the very rare Tomy workers. Now, compare that to the Hit Toys, Kevin. Let me remove these traction tires. Sorry. And you can see an obvious size difference. Still doesn't look good scale wise, but I can't complain. On any day, I would most likely choose the Hit Toys one due to its size wise accuracy. But I prefer this one, and you can see the small present injector making his hook red. I plan to make the little pulley black when I have the time. Now for the stock standard flatbed that Kevin rides in. It's kind of the one we've all seen before if you get uh, Rocky to the rescue or Fiery. You know, you can fit things in there. And the point is to, to give Kevin a way to be transported. Quickly put to the back of the box. And do you see this one little itty bitty bit right down there? Do you guys recognize it? Mm -hmm. Any good movie? Okay, maybe not so good, but at least it brought back Diesel 10. And it's nice that they showed a different engine instead of Thomas. So that's Kevin and the little flatbed. Next comes the, well, the first for the entire motorized range. It's the red breakdown crane, which is supposed to signify the narrow gauge. Now, I know a lot of you are going to complain and say, oh, oh, it's not, it's not, because it's designed after the Sodor main line breakdown crane. Yes, it may be, but this entire themed set is around one thing, Blue Mountain Mystery and a narrow gauge engine. And it's red because the ones on Sodor are green. So we got the narrow gauge breakdown crane. Not really a whole lot to say about it. I mean, you heard what I said in my Thomas and the Trucks uh, starter set review about the breakdown crane. It's rare. Not only available with Playreel Mavis and in this red color here. But now the real main reason I would encourage you to buy it is Play Rail Yellow Victor, and someone just died. Now, a lot of people have seen JD41796 versus, I guess you could call it for his reviews and stuff, of the red Play Rail Victor on the red Trackmaster Fisher Price Victor. As the only Fisher Price Trackmaster engine of Victor's in the talking one, which I will not buy. I'm not going to compare it. And before any of these guys, I do have the play rail Victor on his way. I haven't checked the tracking. So if he comes late, it'll be my fault. You can obviously tell I've done a few cosmetic changes to the one. Uh, for starters, I colored his traction rods green, so it looks like his wheels are green. Obviously, I converted them. The accuracy on this one simply astonishing. I'll kill fat out before I move him. If you take a look and you can bend the light just right, one, you can see into his boiler where you see the battery, but you also have the piston um, detail here. Now this model has uh, five stickers. Two are on his saddle tanks that uh, give the lining. There's the one big honk back here. And then of course you got the two first cab windows. Now they're 
just two tiny itty bitty little things I'm going to nitpick on and it's just kind of paint detailing. If we take a look at the concept art up front here, well now you can see it. You can see how he's got five green boiler bands. Here he's only got the three and you know, I'm not going to complain about it. There's the design for one that is unpainted right here, and you know, I might paint that in myself if I have a steady enough hand. And of course they're missing the one right here at the back where the boy wants the cabin. I'm fine if that one is non-existent. There's also supposed to be a little silver rim on this boiler, and his whistle is supposed to be painted gold, but with it being yellow plastic, it would be hard for the gold to stand out. I pre-ordered this item back in September, and I finally got it today, so it's kind of a long wait for me, but the price for it varies everywhere you go on eBay. I just recommend being very careful at looking from uh, buyers of who has it for a good price and shipping options and whatnot. But I'm glad to finally have it. Thank you for watching this slightly lengthy review. I have a model showcase video in the works in addition to an announcement video regarding my channel uh, video uploads and uh, policies arriving. So please keep an eye out for that. Make sure to also hit that subscribe button and share this video with your family and friends. Take care and see you next time.